Hi again, I'm Andy Munitz, Training Manager for Sony Broadcast and Production Systems Division. In this video, we're going to discuss Sony's latest DWX series digital wireless microphone system and point out some of its major features and benefits. Well, okay, as if I had to tell you, we operate today in a production world filled with lots of wireless devices, with wireless microphones being one of the most commonly used. But when we use a wireless mic, what we really want is to get the same quality of sound and reliability that we get when we plug a microphone in with a cable. And so our engineers at Sony are constantly improving our technology to give you a wireless microphone system to reach that goal. In a sense, as our world's been changing from standard definition to high definition video, and from analog audio to digital audio, it only seems to make sense that we should have an even higher quality digital technology and wireless microphone design as well. So first let's have a look at the various models that make up Sony's digital wireless product family. In the transmitter category, we offer the digital body pack transmitter, two handheld mics, both a condenser and dynamic capsule version, and a plug-on transmitter. On the receiver side, we offer a camera slot in, full diversity, two-channel receiver, as well as a two-channel rack mount studio receiver, all fully digital. Of course, there are accessories for other camera mounting options, as well as remote powered antenna units for various studio applications. But let's get back to the actual technology and feature set of this system to see why it's so unique. You see, the design goals that our engineers addressed in the development of this family of products included a desire to improve on three major areas. First, they wanted to enhance the quality of the audio signal that can be transmitted in a wireless system. Second, they wanted to increase the number of channels that could be broadcast in any given production environment. And third, our engineers had a desire to design a wireless microphone system that could literally become part of the broadcast and professional camcorder that would be tightly integrated with them, offering the benefits of both wireless audio control and functionality. We wanted this to be a real benefit to the cameraman and production crew, and hopefully make the use of wireless mics less of a hassle. So first to the question of audio quality. Sony's system actually achieves much better than CD quality with 24-bit 48K digital audio and uses an original Sony audio codec specially designed for the system. We deliver both a wide dynamic range and a wide frequency response, as well as a short system latency of only 3.6 milliseconds. This last spec, although a bit tweaky, is especially critical to achieve because of the issues that come from the added delay that you can get in going from the analog world to the digital world, and then back again over and over using A to D and D to A converters. In many digital wireless designs, audio quality is sacrificed in this conversion process in order to keep this delay at a minimum. Our codec design, on the other hand, achieves fast conversion into the digital domain, but still maintains superb audio quality. The other audio challenge of most analog designs is that they require the use of a companding scheme, where the audio is compressed prior to transmission and then re-expanded at the receiver. This can add noticeable audio artifacts. The Sony digital wireless system, by comparison, uses no companding in its design. And this also helps give you superb audio quality. Now, on to our second design goal, that of allowing more channels that can operate in the same environment at the same time. This system gives you up to 50% more channels that are currently available using analog wireless. But because we wanted to make sure that our new digital products can be used in the same space and at the same time as our analog 800 and UWP series wireless models, we've made sure that there's no risk of interference between the systems. And in fact, they all share the same channel allocation and frequency grouping plans. Without going too deep into the topic, traditional analog schemes require an intermodulation free channel plan to prevent even upper order harmonics of each signal from interfering with other channels. Whereas our digital scheme allows for equally spaced, intermodulation free channel plans. This simply means that you can have many more channels that can operate in the same space at the same time. And of course, our system provides full channel frequency active and clear channel scanning, and even offers suggested grouping plans available in the receivers to help choose channels. By the way, both the portable and studio receivers are designed with full diversity tuning. 
Now, don't forget that to help achieve the reliability that you get with a wired microphone, we designed a new true all-digital transmission scheme. Sony's digital wireless system is not a digital hybrid design where, in fact, the transmission scheme is still very much analog. Our system transmits fully packetized audio data that's extremely tolerant to interference waves, the ones that can cause dropouts. As well, in the Sony wireless system, once the signal leaves the microphone, it goes through only one A to D conversion process, transmitting to the receiver as packetized digital data, and then the signal can stay in the digital domain through the entire camera and transmission chain. When matched up with any of our more recent PMW shoulder mount and PDW camcorder designs that have a slot in receiver mount, such as the PMW 500, 350, or 320, or the PDW F800 and 700, the signal goes from the wireless receiver into the camera via an internal AES EBU digital connector, thereby keeping the audio signal in the digital domain. It can then stay in this original digital form through post-production and broadcast until it finally hits the D to A converter in the viewer's TV to finally drive speakers. And also one of the things I like about this slot in design is that it really helps maintain the sleek look of the camcorder without having to use external audio cables to hook things up. Another benefit of our digital transmission architecture is that you're now also able to send the audio from the transmitter to the receiver as password encrypted data, which gives the production crew an extremely secure audio transmission scheme. You can intentionally pair only the one transmitter to one specific receiver, or even to multiple designated receivers. And you can even password protect all of the transmitters and receivers in a production with the same password. Someone with a receiver that's not specifically keyed to the encryption code will have no ability to monitor the audio being transmitted. Now, on to the third design challenge, and this one's my favorite. As well as a wireless audio path, the system offers an additional RF signal link for metadata that gives you a fully wireless remote control capability between the receiver and transmitter. This can really improve how your production crew deals with wireless audio, and even more so if you're a one-man owner-operator. You see, in addition to transmitting audio signals, lots of information about our transmitters are available to the receiver, such as audio input trim, battery remaining time, low-cut filter frequency selection, power output level, and even the transmitter's assigned name. All of this information is transmitted as metadata to the receiver, where you can monitor the status of these settings remotely. But what's really great is that in addition, we've added wireless remote control capability of these transmitter settings directly from the receiver. You can change the frequency the system is using, the mic attenuator level, the low cut filter frequency for getting rid of wind noise and rumble, the RF power output level choice, 48 volt phantom power on and off, and even, and this is the one that I like best, the ability to put the transmitter into a low power sleep mode for when you go on a lunch break, for example, and want to save transmitter batteries. You can do all of this from the receiver without having to dig into the clothing of your talent. This is pretty cool. Adding even one more step to it, all of this can be monitored at the camera, of course, but it can even be controlled through the menu system in many of our PMW and PDW series camcorders. Of course, since we have this remote control capability, you might imagine that this would be great for large-scale multi-channel system use as well. With the two-channel studio rack mount receiver, you can have multiple units, all hooked up via IP network protocol to our system management software, allowing for both the monitoring and remote control of multiple transmitters and receivers. This software also allows for easy changing of transmitter and receiver settings from the PC, helping with portable large system installation, studio system prep, and of course, system monitoring. In terms of the actual system hardware, all of the units are made of extremely durable metal construction, able to stand up to the abuse of field use, and all offer OLED menu displays, which make it real easy to see menus even in poorly lit or overly bright environments. As well, all transmitters allow for selectable RF output power selection at either 1, 10, or 50 milliwatt ERP rated settings, which stands for Effective Radiated Power, a suggested industry rating method. 
Because of the extremely sensitive front end of our receivers, in many applications using the 1 or 10 milliwatt setting is all that's required for most multi-channel studio or stage productions. While the 50 milliwatt output setting can be used for long distance work, such as used in sports or news coverage. As for other camera receiver mounting methods, for those cameras that don't have a slot-in mounting system, we offer the adapter necessary for attaching the two-channel receiver to the battery backs of most professional camcorders. As well, this adapter offers both AES EBU digital and analog output connectors, a stereo headphone connector and level control, as well as a remote digital word sync clock input if, for example, it becomes necessary to clock the system to an external larger digital audio system. We also have brackets for connecting multiple receivers together for use in an audio mixer bag application. So, there you have an overview of Sony's advanced digital wireless microphone system. If you've come to the realization that great audio is as important as great video, then you also know that taking control of your wireless microphone hardware is something that will help your productions run more smoothly and efficiently. If you'd like more information and details on our DWX series of digital wireless microphones, simply go to sony.com/proaudio. And thanks for watching.